And oh, we're trading number 22 to Denver. Whoa. What, what okay. You, what, what okay, wait getting? a minute. So Denver has, I think, two picks, I think. Let me see. I Ooh. want to confirm that because I'm wrote. i so and glad they, I wrote all this down. Denver, had, yep, they have 28 and 56. So is Denver going to trade us their two picks? I hope so. God, I hope that have happens. To. Please, God. Denver is trading up at number 22 for Duran Holmes. Wow. Hey, so, so what? what oh, yo, I, have, uh, I, I, Denver got? I got a Duran Holmes thing too for you, actually. Go on. Okay. No, that's but, okay because the Suns aren't making this pick, so we got time. <laughs> but uh, I might interrupt up? you once we know. Okay, it's in. Sham Sharania says the Nuggets are sending picks 28, 56, and two future second round picks. Holy shit, we got second round picks. Let's go. Oh, yes. I'll pull He's it up. Four picks. Did we get dude, four picks? Dude, he, I think he said four picks. Confirmed. Oh. Nuggets send 28, number 56, and two future second round picks to the Suns. Phoenix moves back several slots to, wow. and picks up assets. Thank you, James Jones. It. Thank you, Denver Nuggets. I am freaking out right now. The Suns oh, okay. not only got a, a late pick tonight, but they also get a pick in the second round tomorrow. So we'll we'll all be live tomorrow. And they got future second round picks. What yes. a steal. <sighs> the, them second round picks, they're nice little sweeteners. We'll probably use them all up before the trade deadline um, to add on to move on a bloody the sea little or sorry whatever. it took so long to get it but there it is right there nuggets send 28 56 two future second picks to the phoenix suns phoenix moves back several slots and picks up the assets and boyd, we can still get Bronny. boyd what do you think man what what are you thinking hey, here hey i was thinking if we traded back i was thinking we get maybe a late first and a second in this year's draft but the fact that we've gotten a first, a, a, a 28th, that keeps us in play for that Bronny dream, that Bronny and LeBron dream that we all yep. sort of sort of have cooking in the back of our heads. Um, but dude, we've got we've got a um, we've got a, a second round pick tomorrow and two futures. Yep. Man, this is exactly this is exactly what the Suns need. We need something to cook with. We need something to add to sweeten pots. Um, we just we just need to have some sort of an eye on the future and we've fucking got it man gambo and gambo and jake fisher are confirming the picks um i love this man because remember boy don't forget we have a g league team now we have a g course, league team yes. bro we can develop some of these picks and i don't know where these picks are going to land but like th maybe this is next year's draft class which is a lot better then this year's draft class is going to be. But either way, we have picks. Hey, hey, what can we now do with that number 28? Is there a is there a three picks solution? A trade another trade back? Is there is there a way I that don't we can... know if you can do that? Maybe you, you can, can, but I don't I don't know. You can, but is there an appetite out there to throw in some more some more seconds and just fill our coffers a little bit? Fill our yeah. war chest with some um with some um, with some with some assets that we can that we can sort of move around a bit. It's not oh, wow. impossible. It's not impossible. But holy crap! If you're just joining us, we got over 230 people here. The Phoenix Suns have traded the number 22 overall pick to Denver. Denver's going to draft Deron Holmes the second, and the Suns are getting pick 28 tonight. And tomorrow they'll have pick number 56. And the Suns are also receiving two future second round picks. Oh Oof, my God. Five minutes later. And like Boyd, you know this man. Just the fact that the Suns are kind of making fans happy here and are sort of embracing the youth movement here. We will actually have a young player on this roster tonight. Well, we assume anyways, unless they may, unless they trade 28. Either way, we have future picks, man. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We have future talent. And Ben, I'm not sure if you, you knew this. The Suns got their G League team back. 
Matt Ishbia and all them and Josh Bartlesine, oh, our CEO. Yeah. Uh, the Valley Suns, man. That's what they're called. The Valley Suns are back. The G League now has 30 teams. Every NBA team has a G League affiliate now. Okay. So I can well, see, let's say we do draft somebody at 58 or whatever, 56, whatever it is. That guy could go to the G League for a while. Right. I mean, it's all we got to do is call him up if we need him. Call him up. Bam. Yeah, he's it's, here. Hel- it's helpful to have that one-on-one affiliate relationship now. That's huge. Um, yep. Why did they go away? What was the deal? What, what was the situation? Because our uh, racist, sexist, terrible owner, Robert Sarver, sold oh, Bobby in 2020. Oh, okay. That's oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's 20 cool. million. He sold them to Detroit. Yep, sold oh, them to oh. Detroit. And it's Why like did Detroit just do what we did and just apply to fucking get their own team. Well, where and where did they get the money? And where are the Valley Suns? Where are they playing? Where are they just in uh Tempe, I believe. It was okay. like a hop and a skip, but it's like two hours or whatever, or something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So Okay, so they're they're right there in the area then. Okay. Yep. Now it's funny because their old G League team, the NAZ Suns, that was in northern Arizona. Right. Uh, which still that. wasn't very far. I drove up there a couple times and stuff, but yeah, that's uh and that that's one cool thing about it. Yeah, Nick C says Mullet Arena, um, which you know isn't very far from the Suns Arena, by the way. Yeah, that's where they'll be at. My phone's blowing up, by the way. But um yeah, I love this man. And you know what? I like it for Denver too. They're the well, the, should I say they're now the former NBA champions? I almost called them the NBA champs. They got Jokic, Jamal Murray. They're not going anywhere, and they add a really talented player in Deron. Yeah, Deron he's, re- he's really good. Much, much, much later. Got two hundred and forty-two people watching. We're almost at the three-hour mark. Crush that like live show. I think they just made the pick. Hold on, refreshing. Phoenix Ryan is selecting Dunn. Ryan Dunn at 28. The Phoenix Suns have drafted Ryan Dunn. Arguably the Talk best defender in the draft. Talk to me about Ryan Dunn. Get oh, go. my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to pull this up real quick. Ryan Dunn has been drafted by the Phoenix Suns. Let me pull up my notes that I got about him. Like I said, the best defender in the draft, Phoenix must be targeting defense. And, you know, maybe it was Gambo who had this too. I think Gambo was one of those people saying Ryan Dunn was on their board. So Ryan Dunn, about six foot six, 214 pounds, defensive menace on the court. He is really good at kind of, if he gets beat off the dribble, We'll kind of go back and shot block it from behind. Can steal the ball. Uh, I don't know what his what, wingspan what, is off the top of my head. He? I think he's a shooting guard, I believe. Yes, he's a shooting guard. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's guard. He's six foot six. Wingspan, seven foot one wingspan. He can hustle. Oof. He can score from the interior. Disrupts plays. I feel like he's like a 94 feet type of defender. Sort of like a Javon Carter, maybe. I'm, I love um, it, I'm, man. He, he sounds like a a, a little bit taller. Um, talking about guys that we've had, um, Melton, Anthony Melton. Yes, you're he, a real Suns fan, fan by the way. If you remember that. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. R- the Ryan Phoenix Anderson? Suns Come have on. drafted Ryan Dunn at 21, y'all, or 20, not 21, 28. Excuse me, I'm losing it, y'all. Man, and real quick, I'll just pull up a picture so people know who the hell we just drafted. Ryan Dunn, man. I can't believe it. Let me just find a photo real quick in my files. Y'all can talk. Boy, do you got any thoughts on this? I don't know if you know too much about him. How are you feeling about no, no. this pick, man? I've just I've seen some highlights. and um, But, yeah, he's, he's not someone that I looked at very much at all. I mean, I really liked it, but he just didn't have – he didn't have the same um, that same uh, that same fit that I thought that a point guard in in Colec would have had for us, mm. um, because you you think about it, that's the that's the guy that that's the position that, uh, point guard that we have Brad Bill and Devin Booker kind of p- playing out of position at. So having more of a specialist point guard would have been probably um, my bet. But in saying that. If he is everything that 
I've seen in the minimal highlights that I've uh, that I've uh, seen. And from what you're saying, he sounds like he could just be um, you could throw him in anywhere, and um, he's he, he's going to be a great benefit to the team. Hopefully, he's a glue guy. Hopefully, he talks on defense, and hopefully, he um, um, you know he fits in well in the locker room. Let's just fucking. Uh, is that him there, is it? Yeah, so I was going to read this to you. This is Kevin O'Connor from the Ringers uh, big board. He says he has shades of Herb Jones, who's a lockdown defender. I believe he made the all-defensive team. Andre Robertson. Do you, ben, do you remember Andre Robertson? Oh, yeah. That dude was a lockdown defender, man. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, a very good defender. I remember when the... I remember um, it was. I believe. I believe they drafted him. They had him before they drafted Josh Hustis, I think and that was part of when the Josh Hustis pick out of Stanford a surprise because they already had him. But yes, um, I'm looking at his stats. He's very much a defensive guy. Yeah. Um, only averaged eight. I don't say only, but eight points a game in, in college at Virginia. Yeah. Now Virginia plays a bit of a slower pace of basketball under Tony Bennett, so that's kind of. Part of maybe why he didn't score as much, but he averaged 2.3 blocks per game. Yep. And 1.3 steals per game. And also 6.9 rebounds. Um, he's a terrible three point shooter, shot 20% from deep, and a 53.2% foul shooter. So he's really got to work on his shooting. That's a real weakness for him. Um, but the guy is, um, but the guy is um, a really, talented uh uh just absolute freak defender um i mean the i mean 2.3 blocks per game as a guard oh my gosh yeah that's huge yeah, and, yeah, and honestly yeah. we don't that's need true. him to score we have three of the best scorers in the nba we don't need ryan dunn to score man i love it can i read something on kevin o'connor's uh draft thing here uh sure. he has or he has closing speed to run shooters off the line or block drivers, kind of like how I was talking about earlier, from behind the paint. He's intelligent, often blowing up opponents' plays with his versatility. He can switch effectively, contain opponents of any shape or style. Elite rim protector with wing position. And it just goes on and on. Kevin O'Connor's mock draft. And there's so many other notes that I took on him, but I think we pretty much summed it up here. I, this was my second choice behind, behind Tyler Kolick and the Phoenix Suns draft Ryan Dunn at 28. I love it. I love it. Hell yeah, Phoenix Suns. I just, I'm very happy. James Jones. I've been Isaiah a little Collier, bit of a, number 29. Yeah. To your Utah jazz, by the way, Ben. Mm. Um, but James Jones, man, I've been a little bit of a critic of him lately. But he seems to just keep making these little moves here and there that, you know, I just I, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Because not only do we get a defensive dog who's only 21 years old, by the way, we get future picks on top of that. And heck, tomorrow is round two of the draft. Maybe we get Bronny James at 56. I don't know. Yeah, so, I think that's all but gone now that Bronny James uh, I think maybe uh, he might go past 55 if you ask me. I think Lakers take him. That's fair. I love it. Uh, real quick, one of my favorite follows on Twitter, AZ Sports Zone, Zona Hoops, formerly known as Ryan Dud. Ryan Dunn adds instant youth, size, defense, athletic athleticism to the Suns. The jumper has a long ways to go, but he can play right away. By providing elite defense on the wing, something the Suns lack. I totally agree with that. How old is he? He's only 21. Yeah, he nice. played, played two years at Virginia. Yeah. Yep. Um, for a little background on his high school recruitment, um, Rivals.com, who I work for my, our network, Rivals, we rated him as a four star recruit. Um, he was uh, the 112th overall high school player in his class in 2022. So a guy who's overachieved to get to the NBA, being rated 112 in his class. Um, verbally committed, committed to Virginia, where he played, obviously. Um, he also held offers in Boston College, Cal, Georgia Tech, Marquette, uh, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Oklahoma State, Pittsburgh, South Carolina, Texas A&M, Virginia Tech, and some other, a few other smaller schools as well. Um, 
So um, kind of a mediumly recruited guy out of high school. Four-star recruits always good, but was not a top 100 player in the nation, according to rivals. So a guy who's definitely, um, you know, over overachieved to get here. And also you just look at what he did from his freshman year to sophomore year as a freshman, 2.6 points, 1.1 blocks, and 0.4 steals per game. And I mean, just really made a jump from his freshman year to sophomore year. Doubled his, over doubled his minutes. Um, and Virginia is obviously a really strong program playing in the ACC. So a guy that I think for the Suns, I think what's exciting is this is a guy who made tremendous improvement from his freshman to sophomore year. And is a guy that's getting better, right? And that's those are the kind of guys you want to get. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, the defensive uh, – ten- uh, uh, skills he's got obviously great physical tools um now listed at um i'm looking at him as now listed at 6 8 208 that's what his measurements are for okay him. yeah so he's got good size um kind of you know if you if, kind of remind kind of reminds him of a matisse uh of a matisse stiebel type guy Ooh. that's kind of, that's kind of what he reminds me that's who he sounds like to me which is exciting yeah that's comp yeah Ooh. yeah I, li- I like that comp as well i really what do. was he shooting what was his outside shooting like then? Terrible. Uh, it's atrocious. I mean, he shot thirty. <laughs> he shot twenty percent from deep last season on one attempt per game. So the guy is not a three point shooter, and his foul shooting is terrible too, at fifty three percent. So I mean, so his his shooting needs to improve. Like that's the one area he needs to really get improved is his shooting. Um, but he found ways to score more um, inside and and everything. Um, his fellow percentage was 54.8%. So he, like, was a good score inside around the rim, it looks like, from his percentages. So um, so he found ways to well, score. Yeah, so. Who else have we got on the Phoenix Suns? That's a really good defender. Josh Okogie. <laughs> Josh Okogie. I'm not trying to scare you here, Brendan. I'm not trying to scare you. Um, okay, well, I can – man, I – He's he's now on the Suns, I guess. Well, we could still move him, I suppose. But uh, I suppose I'm just gonna have to get on it and just uh, um, you know put the put the orange and purple shaded glasses on and uh, get behind the kid. I believe Gambo was. I think he said recently that they want to bring Josh Okogie back. Don't quote me on that, but I swear I saw that. Um, and yeah, by What's the way, like guys, a real quick. Playmaker, Ryan Dunn. Uh, uh, I'm not too sure on that one, to be honest. Uh, well, c- according to Kevin O'Connor, understands his offensive role. He isn't a creator, but he limits mistakes and keeps the ball moving. That sounds like something the Phoenix Suns need right there. Get the ball to our yeah, best players. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I can – yeah, you're giving me some more to go on here to, to get behind. I can convince myself. This is Real- what tonight's going to be. Thank you.